Hey guys, doing my very first ever video review on uh, two products for the iPad 2, uh, two cases to be exact. Uh, it's my first video, so I'm going to try to do my best, uh, cut me some slack. Um, both cases I have here, one is the OtterBox Defender Series, and the other one is the newer Griffin Survivor case. Uh, both great cases. I picked up the Defender Series at Walmart for roughly around $84 with tax. I picked up the uh, Survivor Series at Best Buy, and it was just about the same price, $84, $85. So price wasn't a big, big factor in my decision because, like I said, they're pretty much the same there. But I'm going to try to go over the good and the bads of each, uh, so bear with me. I'm going to start off with the OtterBox Defender Series. Great case made by OtterBox. Uh, kind of goes on the same lines of all their other cases that they made for like the iPhone and other you know devices. Um, liked the case, uh, but there's just a lot of features to it that I think kind of got left off, which uh, I think OtterBox you know could have could have made this case better. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is I'm going to go ahead and cover the front of the case. If you notice, my hand goes straight through it. There's no you know. OtterBox is kind of always known for having their built-in screen protection. None there. Uh, I don't know why they didn't include it with the iPad uh, 2 case, but there, there's no cover inside there. It's basically, it's just wide open. Um, if you order it offline from OtterBox, they'll send you a free, you know, clear skin for the front of your uh, iPad. But uh, there's none built in here, and uh, I, I, that's what I did not like about this case. But anyway, let's go on. Uh, just like with all of OtterBox's cases, uh, you basically start off with uh, two pieces of uh, like an outer, you know, plastic skeleton that clamshell together on your device, and then it's covered, you know, completely around and sealed with this uh, rubber outer shell. Um, basically, uh, you know, that helps protect it against drops and so on. Um, inside the case, they went ahead and put these four pads. These four pads are basically used to keep your iPad from getting scratched or anything while inside the case and it you know, also helps with some shock absorption if dropped. Um, on the front of the case here you've got your uh, home button. Uh, once your iPad slips down in here, your home button goes underneath here and uh, you know that kind of helps protect it and cover it. Uh, the response to that was great. Didn't have any issues with having to push down on it real hard or anything like that. Uh, it was fine response wise. Uh, up here on the front of the case you'll notice uh, it's very open here. Okay, uh, so if your iPad's sitting in here and you know your camera is about right there, there's no protection over that front camera area. Okay, it's very open. Uh, I noticed when my iPad was in here that, uh, like the my, I got the white one, the white bezel is is you know or frame per se is exposed all the way around the the, uh, the case. So they didn't close in on the screen you know to protect that outer bezel you know, like they do with most of their things, like on the iPhone 4 and so on and so forth. So that was another kind of thing that I kind of noticed that they did with this case. Um, let's go over here to the other side. Um, let, me go ahead and, let me get this little plastic thing off here. This is actually a pretty cool feature that OtterBox uh, put with the case. I'll uh, go ahead and show you that in a few minutes here and kind of give you a little bit of a thing on that. Um, right over here you've got your volume buttons. Uh, like I said, no issues here. Easy to go ahead and push on and you know get your volume up and down. You know, it's response. Didn't really have to push on them hard. Here's your silent switch. Of course, that is encased with a rubber grommet to help protect it. Um, this is your camera well. Uh, there is a piece of plastic inside there, you know, to help keep your uh, camera safe. Uh, this is your on and off switch. Uh, again, easy response. Pushing on it, didn't have to push real hard. Uh, works great. Here is your microphone slot. Microphone slot is uh, open. There's nothing there to protect that, so you know dust and dirt and whatever else can get down in there. Uh, they didn't provide any kind of coverage for that. Uh, just kind of looking at the case over. Uh, there's no buttons or anything like that on this side. Um, one thing they did do with this case, which is kind of a uh, kind of a cool thing, is you've got your little rubber grommet there to protect your uh, charging port area. But what they also did is they made it to where this whole piece opens. And the reason they did this is so that way it can be docked. Uh, a lot of people, once their cases are on, you know, they have issues with docking it and they got to take it in and out of the dock and, or in and out of the case to dock it. And it's just, it's just a pain. So OtterBox tried to combat that with doing this. Uh, I have not tried docking it, so I can't really tell you if it works really great or not. Sorry about that. But 
Um, kind of a cool feature that they did. Uh, coming over here, once your iPad is sitting in here, this is where your, your, your bottom speaker will be. Uh, again, wide open. OtterBox didn't put any kind of you know, protective grommet over that. So that's pretty much exposed, you know, to anything, wind, rain, sand, uh, you know, spills, anything like that. So that's wide open. I kind of didn't like that either. Um, also, keeping with OtterBox fashion, of course, you got your clear plastic uh, little circle there. So you can see your Apple thing. A lot of people have kind of fanatics about that. They like to see the Apple symbol. So OtterBox stuck with that. But that's pretty much this case in a nutshell. Like I said, very good case. Uh, I just think OtterBox left off some uh, some things that you know could have made this case a lot better uh, and you know protect your iPad a lot better. Um, but again, like I said, it, it, it is a good case. Uh, it does add some bulk uh, to your iPad. Uh, this case weighs in just about 16.32 ounces, so it does add some weight and some bulk. So if you're trying to keep that thin, light uh, iPad to feel. Uh, this probably isn't the case for you, but if you're looking at trying to protect your iPad, yeah, this is a good case. Uh, let me get back to that little piece of plastic that I did take off from the back earlier. Uh, this is a pretty cool little feature that I, uh, OtterBox did. Uh, it can be used as a cover and a stand. Uh, basically, if your iPad's in here and it's face up, so your screen's face up, you can go ahead and clip this right onto it. So that way you've got impact resistance there. Uh, you know, if you throw it into a backpack, briefcase, you know, it slides off the seat in the car. Uh, you know, that helps protect your screen. I, I do like that about the uh, OtterBox version. Also, what they did is to kind of make things a little bit easy for people is they, you know, made this uh, to also turn into a stand. It's got two, two basically stand positions. One is kind of like a little bit of an angle, so that way if you're typing or something, or you're sitting this on your lap or a table, I'll try to get the angle there. That's pretty much the angle that you get. Uh, or you can go ahead and you can spin it around and it sits right like that. Okay, so you basically have got a viewing angle like if you're on a table or something like that. So it's a pretty cool feature the OtterBox did. I, I did like that about the OtterBox. But like I said, there was a couple other drawbacks that kind of, uh, you know, I was a little bit disappointed in. But still a very good case. Um, and like I said, it's, it's, it's pretty durable. All right, moving on to the newer uh, Survivor Series made by Griffin. And as you can see, my uh, iPad is in this case. Uh, and I'll go over pretty much why I chose this case over the OtterBox. Uh, one of the features that Griffin is kind of... Uh, marketing is the fact that if you can kind of see that, I'm sorry my camera is not the greatest, is it passed the uh, US military uh, standard of 810F. Basically what that is, is it's a standard that the military uses to test products against uh, environmental things like wind, sand, rain, dirt, dust, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, and it passed those tests, so basically it meets military standards. Couldn't find that on the OtterBox. I tried looking online, uh, researching their website and everything, didn't see where that one passed any kind of military spec, which I, I would probably say is due to the reasons that a lot of the ports being left open and exposed to environment, uh, and not having uh, you know a sealed outer screen. So kind of a thing to think about if you're uh, going to purchase a case. Um, the case itself, very well built, pretty much the same type of case as the OtterBox. Uh, you've got your two inner plastic shells that clamp down over your case, uh, over your iPad and then it slides into this outer, this thicker outer rubber, uh, you know, skeleton. Uh, I did notice that the rubber uh, outer shell on the Griffin seemed a lot more uh, sturdy and thick than it did on the OtterBox, which I, I like. The OtterBox one felt a lot more flimsy, uh, you know, like almost like it would rip a lot easier. Than, than this one. I mean, this one, I mean, it's, it's solid. I mean, it's, it's thick. You've got a lot of bumper uh, padding and stuff on the, on the edges. So if you know, if you drop it straight down or something like this, um, that's one of the things I really liked. Uh, starting with the front here, you'll notice, I, I, I don't know, like I said, it, my, my iPad's in there, so it's, it might be hard to tell. They included a screen protector. It's sealed all the way around these edges and it covers, you know, the entire screen. Um, that was, like I said, one of the biggest things I liked about this case is it has its own screen protection built in. Uh, one thing you'll notice is, is not like the old OtterBox 
uh, issues they were having with the iPhones back in the day is you get none of the stickiness, like the little watering effect under the screen. Uh, no matter how you push on it, rub your finger on it, anything like that, you get none of that watering effect. Um, the screen's very responsive. I've had no issues playing games, typing, anything like that with any kind of delay. I mean, great, great thing here on this case. Um, staying to the front here, your home button is protected uh, underneath the rubber. Uh, if you come up here, the front camera is also it's encased, and there's actually a thin piece of plastic in there to keep the camera safe. Um, on the sides here, again, very, very thick rubber. I'll get to this little plastic thing here in a minute. Uh, if you come up to the top, uh, right here, you have got your uh, ear jack hole. Uh, it's open. I've had no issues uh, plugging in my earphones there. Again, that's covered with a, a rubber grommet to help protect it from the environment. Uh, right here, you've got your microphone. It's down in there. Again, covered with a little rubber grommet to help protect it from all the environment. Uh, over here, you've got your uh, it's encased inside there. You've got your uh, silent switch. It's uh, right down in there. Uh, no issues getting to that at all. Very easy to access. Uh, right here, if you can see, you've got your volume up and down buttons. Again, very responsive. No issues there. Uh, coming around, uh, there is your docking port cover. Uh, again, encased in rubber, uh, so that way you know, nothing can get in there. Uh, they didn't open it up or anything, so that way it can be docked, so that's kind of a thing, I guess, if you're going to use a dock a lot, you might want to kind of think about, uh, because uh, just like with the OtterBox and this case, I mean, it's not hard, but it is a little bit of work to get them in and out, so it's not something that you want to just keep pulling in and out every day. Uh, I mean, these cases are kind of made to put it in there and leave it in there. Um, one thing you'll see down here, if I can get it open, this is your, let me get it open here kind of got to have some nails to get into some of these. There's your speaker. Uh, your speaker is not only encased in plastic, there's also like a little uh, bit of vent over it to help protect it against drop, impact, anything like that. But one thing they did is they provided a rubber grommet to cover that. So there's nothing getting in there, uh, you know, that is protected, unlike the otter box where, you know, it was pretty much left open. Um, the other thing is here, oh, your rear camera. The rear camera on the back is, again, it's also too protected inside of a little rubber grommet. Uh, you know, to keep you know the, the stuff out. There is no other piece of plastic in there, so once it's open, it is exposed. But it, you know, this helps keep it keep it safe. Uh, you'll also notice on the back here, if I can show you, there's little uh, hole kind of indentions all over that. That's basically so when you fold open these uh, things to expose, like the camera, or the microphone, or anything like that, you can bend these down and you can slide them into those cracks. And basically, that it, it'll it'll hold it in place. I mean, it takes kind of a little bit of getting used to, but it, it'll hold that in place. So that way, it, there you go. So that way, it'll stay open. So that's kind of a cool thing to make sure. So you ain't sitting there having to hold these open while you're uh, trying to take pictures or do whatever. Um, this this is kind of something that Griffin included. It's also a stand. Uh, it basically kind of functions in the same way as the uh, OtterBox one. Basically, what you do is you grab the back of it here. Uh, let me get it pop open here. And basically that way you can, you know, watch TV, set your iPad up, you know, do whatever. Um, you can take that off, that'll pull off, and, you know, you can actually put it, if you can see, there's indentions for it uh, on all four sides of this. Uh, that way, you know, it can set up in, in landscape mode or uh, vertical mode, whatever you want. But another cool little thing they included. Uh, so, like I said, great case. I, I just, like I said, I really like this case. Uh, to me, it just provides a lot more protection for the iPad. As you can see, you can't see any of the, the white frame of my iPad. Uh, you know, it, it's completely covered. You know, the, the case butts all the way up to the screen which, like I said, to me, the front of your iPad is just a lot more safe, a lot more secure. you got that built-in screen protector, so you can't, you know, get the, the stuff spilt on here and seeping into the cracks. Very well-built case. I mean, uh, Griffin's actually stepped up to the plate on this case uh, to compete with the OtterBox, and, I, and, and in my opinion, I, I think they've actually uh, outdone the OtterBox this time. Um, but great case, guys. Uh, hope you liked my review. Um, 
if you guys have any questions or anything like that, you know, please post them, uh, and I'll try to answer you guys the best I can. But uh, that's pretty much my review, guys. Uh, Otterbox Defender Series and the Griffin uh, uh, Survivor Series. Uh, like I said, both great cases. Uh, both have their goods and their bad points. I uh, hope this video helps you out with making your decision. But uh, that's it, guys. Thanks.